I want to tie in this issue with you said what you said about the off ramp, okay? Which is, you know, what is the off ramp from this? Look, everybody understands, I think, regardless of what side of the political spectrum you're on, that we are caught in a cycle of insane hyperpartisan warfare and tit for tat retaliation, and that is the thing that we need to uh, that that is the ledge we need to walk back from. Okay, but the problem that everybody has is that they can only see the other side doing it. You know, they can't see themselves doing it. This is a two-way street. Both sides are doing it. And that's how de-escalation works, is both sides have to concede something. Yes, and unless you can see when your side is doing it, we're never going to break the cycle. Now, the thing that is happening right now, now what Trump did was absolutely outrageous, and I think it, it brought him to an ignominious end in American politics, he will pay for it in the history books, if not in a court of law, okay? But now what has happened is the next step in the tit-for-tat retaliation, what the, the storming of the Capitol has now been used to implement a sweeping attack on free speech. You know, the, the Twitter employees who sent that letter to Jack, who've been demanding this for years, have finally gotten their way. And there is a widespread purge going on. And not just of Trump, not just a permanent ban on, on Trump, and then a whole bunch of other people, you know, conservatives. There are now liberal accounts. There's an account that I wasn't even aware of called Red Scare. They're basically, you know, pretty pretty much on the left. No one can say exactly what it was that got them banned. I guess they had Steve Bannon on their podcast. They are suddenly banned from Twitter. Nobody knows why. 